in this uh, tutorial today I'm going to show you how to use um, NVIDIA's NVENC uh, or GPA, GPU to encode videos in Handbrake. This is a new feature in Handbrake that can save you a lot of time. Um, I have read on some forums that it can potentially reduce some of the quality of the video. I haven't been able to notice a lot of difference there, but I will show you that it, it will save you a lot of time when encoding large files. Um, anyway, uh, so up here on the screen I've already got a couple of things up, so you need to be aware of those. First off, um, which driver you need, right? So you need to make sure that you have the latest NVIDIA drivers installed on your computer. Uh, I am using Linux, so this is a Linux-based tutorial. Uh, you also need to have the right uh, cards, basically, so the right GPU. Um, I'm running a GeForce GTX 1060 uh, with three gigabytes of RAM. So those meet the requirements that Handbrake, Handbrake requires to be able to do this. So I'm gonna drop out of there. Um, you also need to make sure, this is Handbrake, right? So you need to make sure with Handbrake that you're running the latest version. I've got 1.3.3 uh, installed. This is not an option in 1.3.1. So just make sure that you've got the latest version of Handbrake. Um, the video that I'm gonna rip here real quick, let me get this to close, there we go, um, is a movie called Smart People. I ripped it off of a Blu-ray, so I've just got it uh, set up so it's on a Blu-ray uh, right there. So the video is called Smart People. It doesn't really matter which one, it's just a very large Blu-ray file, right? So I just opened it up in Handbrake, it ran through, checked everything. Uh, I'm just gonna use um, a slightly uh, better rip, right? Uh, just to illustrate the difference that you get in the in how long it takes to actually um, convert this file into a smaller size. So I'm going to general, I'm gonna go down to Super HQ 1080p, right? So this is obviously a 1080p file, um, but I'm gonna set it at Super HQ, so super high quality just because I wanna illustrate the difference that you'll get here. Um, where you change the settings so you can actually use the GPU is under the video tab. So if we click on the video tab, under video encoder, click down here and what you'll see is this option here, NVENC, or this one here is for H.264, H.265, two different uh, video formats, right? So I'm just gonna use H.264 and NVENC, um, but I'll show you fairly briefly the difference that it takes, like how long it will take to encode this video if we use these. So I'm gonna hit this one right here uh, and then of course you should always, you know, adjust your audio settings. So this one's already got me a 5.1 channel and over here, your tags. Uh, I think this was released in 2008, so you should put your date in. But again, I'm just illustrating, so I'm not gonna worry too much about this. Anyway, um, so that's where you make the big change. So just to re reiterate right here, one of those two will then kind of load the GPU and make sure that your GPU is actually doing the encoding rather than your CPU. Once you're ready, you've got everything situated, you can go ahead and hit start and it should start crunching. So we're gonna see it running through. Okay, and that's just the first pass. So I've also pulled up um, two uh, basically um, monitors here to show how much bandwidth is being used for different aspects of the computer. So this is the CPU crunching through those numbers. And over here I've got NVTOP up, right? So you just launch this from a console and it can actually show you um, how much of the GPU is being used to crunch the numbers on this, right? And it is doing basically one task here, right? Um, so you can see it's computing. So we've got a compute task here you can see how much bandwidth it's using, which is a ton, but it's running a little bit. And it actually kicked in now. So it did the encoding pass. So if you look down here on my screen, um, after it did the first pass, just to kind of get a sense of, of the video, now it's running through and you can see that the GPU actually kicked in. So the GPU is being used to process this. And you can see the estimated time. So it's 15, 16 minutes to actually encode this video, right? You can also see this is when my CPU is bumped up. So it, it does still use the CPUs quite a bit, but you can see the GPU is being used.
So I'm back um, in Handbrake, and what I'm actually going to show you now is how long it would take if we used the standard encoder, right? So just the H.264 encoder. Um, so this is just basically going to the default here. Super HQ, and this means it's CPU only, right? So we're just using the CPU. We'll change the name here just so we can see this. And I just want to show the difference in time, so how long, how much longer it'll take if we just use the CPU versus the GPU to do the encoding. You can see everything else is exactly the same, didn't change anything. So I'm going to go ahead and run this. Um, it's going to do that first pass. I'm going to pull up these two uh, monitors so you can see how long this is going to take. Um, and what you'll also see is that the GPU will basically drop down to virtually nothing, so there will be no meaningful usage of the GPU as it does this, but it's got to run through its first pass. So I'll skip ahead a little bit here in just a second on the video. So you can see that um, once it's done with its first pass, and you'll see that the GPU will be used, no utilization of the GPU, whereas the CPU will be um, crunching out pretty hard. Okay, so Handbrake has finished the first pass. It's now moving into the actual encoding phase here, so the second pass. And you can already see with the NVENC or the GPU encoding, it was about 16 minutes. Um, just using the CPU, we're looking at like an hour and 20 minutes, something like that. Uh, in my experience, it is somewhere between five and eight times longer uh, with just the CPU versus the GPU encoding. And you can also see over here with NVTOP, it's basically using no um, GPU. I've got the GPU using for, for something else, but, but it's basically not using the GPU at all, and the CPU is maxed out, right? So it's just crunching as fast as it can. Looks like we just jumped up, so our estimate's now at an hour and 40 minutes, so it's going to take substantially longer. So Handbrake's option of allowing you to use the GPU for encoding versus the CPU does mean substantial time savings when it comes to um, transcoding or encoding videos, which is super nice. It's a great feature. Um, this becomes particularly advantageous if you're dealing with 4K videos. Uh, so this is just 1080p, right? So high definition videos. But uh, when I've tried this with 4K videos, it went from something like 18 hours to convert a video that I had um, in 4K into a more manageable size um, down to about an hour and a half using the GPU. Yeah, so our estimate's gone up now. We're at two hours and eight minutes. Uh, but this is clearly what you can see. And obviously the GPU is not being used and the CPUs are maxing out. So anyway, a great option that you uh, can use now in Handbrake.